Hi, I'm Barb. Welcome to my craft studio, Mary Vlogmas Day. Was it 21? 21, yeah. I lose track. Um, today I thought I'd share, I always do for the holidays, a little treat bag for my neighbor kids. I do this for Christmas, Valentine's, Easter, Halloween. I do it several times throughout the year. I usually. Usually I do a little bit more than what I did this time. I just didn't get as much made and I also didn't get as many things much bought. I just kind of used what I had on hand. There's some little erasers down there that I had gotten at like Dollar Tree and the Target Dollar Spot. There's some candy in there. Put some little sticker boxes, some pencils. I'll add an ornament. I had bought these last year at the Bullseye Playground, so I added their names to them. So I'll add one of those, and I usually try to throw in a pinwheel. I don't always get one made, but I use my We Are Memory Keeper pinwheel punch board and some double-sided holiday paper, and I create a little pinwheel for them. These are usually a hit, <laughs> especially when they're younger. <laughs> A couple of them are probably getting to the age where they aren't going to care much longer, but that's kind of, I just thought I'd pop on and share that little tradition that I have for the neighbor kids. I try to, I'll probably try to include a card that I made too if I have any, or a gift tag, something along that line. It, the, this bag does have a little tag on it that um, was part of this file. This is a Dreaming Tree file. I think it's one of their freebie files, the candy cane bag, treat bag, and it does come with a little tag that you can cut out and make, but I might use another one too, just for them to have something else that I made. But that's all I've got to share today. I want to thank you for joining me. Merry Vlogmas, day 21.